Everything is about to change for Caspa as the KRC token standard is in the final stretch of implementation. And while I was at Consensus this past week in Austin, Texas, I ran into Chad Ballantyne, who heads up marketing for Caspa. And what he told me, probably going to have you running to buy more coins, but make sure to do it after this video and make sure to drop a like. I'll tell you exactly what he told me at a breakfast on our first day in Austin and what to expect from the price action of Caspa moving forward. So let's talk about it. The KRC20 token standard bringing smart contracts to Caspa, which some argue is uh, 20 times better than Bitcoin. It's as decentralized, it's as safe, it's as secure. We're going to talk about the hash rate and where that is heading and how big miners are coming in and what kind of effect that is going to have on people who are looking to launch tokens on the Caspa network. So let's talk about KRC20 smart contracts. This is from a Medium article back in April of this year couple of things highlighted here. So one of the key features, some of the key features and benefits of launching a token or a smart contract on Caspa include interoperability, scalability, and performance uh, built on Caspa's innovative ghost stack consensus protocol and sub-chain architecture. KRC20 smart contracts inherit the network's unparalleled scalability and performance capabilities. You have customizability and flexibility, which is extremely important, especially the customizability part. As we get into more of a regulated market, especially here in the U.S., people want to be able to customize to where they're geolocated. And if you're in the U.S. and there's some more stringent laws than some of the other countries, you're going to want to be able to customize your smart contracts for that reason. Uh, number four, security and trustlessness. We know Caspa is a proof-of-work coin, uh, which inherently some argue that it is more decentralized and safer than proof, than proof of stake. And then you have community engagement and adoption. Uh, we know Caspa community is extremely loud. They're extremely devoted. Every time we put out a Caspa video, uh, we get tons of views of some of our best performing videos. So shout out to you. If you're a proud member of the Caspa community, put a one in the comment section. Now, what are going to be some of the use cases and adoption for the KRC20 tokens? Now, here again from this Medium article, the versatility and functionality of KRC20 smart contracts unlock a myriad of use cases and applications across various industries and sectors. Some potential use cases include uh, DeFi, tokenized assets, gaming and NFTs, supply chain and traceability, governance and voting, which this is going to be a big one moving forward, is something that Cardano is really focused on. Now, I did mention I met a gentleman down in Austin, Texas, and here he is. His name is Chad Ballantyne of Rhubarb Media. And just in case you didn't know, uh, Chad has been marketing and making creative content for Casper early on in the ecosystem. He is the sole creator for the branding and Caspa image. So coming downstairs, we're getting ready to have breakfast, go out to our first day at Consensus, and I see a gentleman with a Caspa shirt on. And I'm like, hey, uh, my name is David. You work with Caspa? He's like, yeah, I'm Chad. I do some marketing. And so we sat down. We broke bread together. Uh, and we, I just kind of asked him some questions. said, hey, uh, what, what are you guys most excited about with Caspa? What are the KRC20 smart contracts? And what he told me was, look, uh, we're still a little ways off from the KRC20 from the from uh, being able to get smart contracts on the platform, but we already have tons of tokens and projects that are reaching out to us saying, hey, uh, we are ready and we want to launch on Caspa. Now you have Caspa's edge over other blockchains, right? You have the proof of work, which we already discussed. 10 blocks per second is right around the corner, and their goal is to get to 100 blocks per second. And just to give you an idea how fast that is, Solana does one block every 2.4 seconds. Cardano does one block every around 10 to 20 seconds. Bitcoin does one block every 10 minutes. Caspa is going to 100x that of Bitcoin. It is decentralized. It had a fair launch. It's got one of the brightest minds, Jonathan Sampolinski, behind the project. And it created the Ghost Stack Consensus Protocol, which is extremely unique. And so those are some things that are happening and so we might see a complete floodgate open once this token smart contract, uh, once they're able to, people are able to launch tokens on Caspa. We currently, the price, the price that is going up and down is currently just speculation, right? There's no use case, there's no utility. It's just people speculating on the potential future. Well, guess what? That potential future is right around the corner. And what is Caspa's price going to do when the token smart contracts come into play? And these companies that are lined up to launch on Caspa. They start launching tokens. They start buying Caspa. They start getting exchange listings. 
So very exciting times, and I will have a price prediction and update a chart towards the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned. Other things that are happening in the Casper ecosystem include this from Chris Hutchinson. I really want to thank everyone in the Casper community for your support and helping me become the UK's first Casper ambassador. I'm going to be working hard to bring awareness and adoption of Casper to as many people as possible. To help achieve this, the Casper community have designed this brilliant battle card, which I had a physical copy Chad gave me down in Austin to help give a quick but informative rundown of what makes Caspa so incredible. Feel free to copy it and use it to spread the Caspa love to other people. And here it is. I will drop the link to this tweet in the comment section so you can, or in the description of this video, so you can go in and download this for yourself. Or if you want to, go ahead and take a, stop this video, take a snapshot. But it just highlights everything that makes Caspa so awesome and so unique, including when they had their fair launch, what consensus, what their supply is, circulating max, uh, the block time, what their ticker is, what is upcoming. Now, the big one here is the uh, a rewrite of Caspa's node implementation from Golang to Rust. I believe that is done. That is finalized. And so now we're just waiting on that KRC20 token standard. A lot of exciting things are going to be happening on Caspa. We also uh, we also have this. So Femex listed Caspa, although this was about, uh, this was about, um, about 15 to 20 days ago. Still, you had Femex. Uh, and speaking of exchange listings, we did do a video a few weeks ago talking about a major exchange that is getting ready to list Caspa. And I will pin that video in the comment section as well so you can go ahead and watch it. It is going to be this video right here, new exchange listings for Caspa. Uh, so go ahead and watch that after this video. Also, you have some stuff happening on the protocol and the foundational level, including their mining growth is accelerating as industrial miners join the game. Now, this is going to be very big, right? Proof of work, the way it gets to security is you have hash power, right? The higher the hash power, the more money and energy and resources it's going to take to overtake the network and do a 51% attack. So, as we are drawing near the KRC20 token standards, hash power has been going up. If you take a look at this chart here, Caspa's hash rate, 307 pay to hash per second. It has been nothing but up and to the right since September of last year. So this is looking to break all-time highs. And just so one thing I've highlighted here from this article, Casper Mining accelerates, indicating that big pools boost the hash rate with powerful machines. The Casper Layer 1 network aims to provide security, proof of work, and instant transaction validation. A higher hash rate will make Casper's transactions more secure. So it's like all the ducks are starting to get in a row for Casper to have a massive move up speaking of moves up caspa has had a nice rally and we are currently in the midst of a big rally as we're looking to test all-time highs again chart looks absolutely amazing for caspa as you can see here on the daily chart from mexi we broke past this large volume node level here which typically could be buying or selling pressure obviously we see here that this was buying pressure and the good news my friends is there's really not much volume left until we get to about 17.2 cents we did break a couple of key levels of resistance for Casper. You could take a look here at these purple horizontal lines I've drawn. So the first one here, it's right around 12.9, we'll call it 13 cents. So this was a level going all the way back to November of 2023. Uh, but more specifically, talking about the beginning of December, we had a retest of this level back in the uh, around December 13th, where we had a massive spill off. We came back twice on a wick to retest, but got rejected immediately and had subsequent pullbacks. Uh, the first pullback was around 20%. The second pullback, which happened on June, uh, January 11th of this year, from top to bottom, was around 28%. We did break above it, got rejected at the second line, which we'll talk about here in a second. But this first line was very important, as you can see here. Even more recently, going back to April, again, bump up rejected price goes down one more time and we finally broke through but we didn't break through with volume so we were kind of worried hey is this going to be sustained growth and obviously the answer to that right now is yes the second level so we we took that low out we took that high out right second level was this 14.46 level which again going back to november of last year this has been a key level as price has closed at this area but got rejected one two three four five six times the most recent was may 28th we have completely blown past that level 
And if I remove these drawings and I throw on the signals and overlays, which gives us an overview of, hey, where is some support and resistance? We have gotten a strong buy signal from the Lux Algo indicator here. And let me just show you the last time we got that strength of a buy signal. It was back in July of 2023, where Caspa broke out to about 3.9 cents. And the rally thereafter, my friends, from that point was around 360%. I'm not saying that we're going to get a 360% rally, but what I am saying is the chart is looking great. We got a buy signal here down in our matrix oscillator as well. We are entering overbought territory, but that means a lot less when you're in a bull market and price is in a blue sky breakout or price discovery. If I throw these off again, guys, we are not too far from breaking all-time highs for Caspa as we are currently only around 16% away from reclaiming all-time highs, right around 18.9 cents. How high will Caspa go? Can Caspa get to $1? Absolutely. I actually think Caspa can get to $1 based off of speculation alone. Look at what Cardano did back in 2021 with no smart contracts. It went from $0.05 cents to $3. To $3 with nothing happening on the network as far as tokenization, NFTs, launches, nothing. No smart contracts. Ran up to $3 from $0.05. Cents. Caspa, can it run up to a dollar? Absolutely. Can it run up to $2? Potentially, yes, if enough retail comes in. Caspa is the shiny new coin, just like Cardano was in the last cycle. Now add in smart contracts, add in tokens, adding people launching projects on Caspa. Can we see a five, $6 Caspa? Potentially. Stay tuned to find out. And we do have a Caspa playlist. So make sure to check out all of our Caspa videos we've done. Subscribe to the channel if you're not. And come check out our live show Monday to Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one.